Hey gang, Spade here, and today we are taking a look at Gokaio, or the candy version of Gokaio. As you can see, the, uh, well, let's just say they're a little smaller than the original article. So let's go ahead and take a look at each individual unit, and then we'll take a look at everything combined. Here is Gokai Galleon, and as you can tell, it is significantly smaller than its, uh, well, the actual toy counterpart. Also, you will notice that the paint, or I should say sticker applications, um, make it a close approximation to the original Deluxe class toy. It's uh, definitely uh, a little smaller. <laughs> Next up we have Gokai Greens, Gokai Racer. And as you can see, the paint or sticker apps do make it look like the genuine article. In fact, I kind of like the green on black motif more on the little guy than the actual big plastic toy, simply because it adds a little bit more distinction to the different components. Here we have Gokai Blues, Gokai Jet, and once again there is a definite difference in the color to black ratio than in the original toy, and I actually uh, I do kind of dig it. Um, now, the reason is because the original figure or the original piece off the runners are all black, but it looks good. I mean, it's a very close approximation to the original set. Unfortunately, there is a uh, no gold over here to do the cannon, but uh, a little paint will fix that. Next up is Gokai Yellow's uh, vehicle. Now, this, um, I think the original looks a lot better. Yes, this is a much brighter yellow, but it, it falls apart pretty easily or comes apart pretty easily, and it it just doesn't look quite right. And I think that's partially because I didn't apply the stickers to the wheels. And the reason was, um, there's not enough surface area on these tiny little wheels for the stickers to stay attached. Col uh, it's probably due to the heat here in Baltimore, um, but the stickers for the wheels just wouldn't stay on. But finally, we have Gokai Marine. And with the stickers applied, I think this is probably the closest of uh, their closest approximation to all of them. I really like the way it looks. It just looks cool. Though, Gokai Marine kind of looks like a shoe to me. I don't know why. Merging up the five vehicles is exactly the same, with a few minor little twists, but nothing major. So we'll get, we'll go ahead and start with the feet. First, just open up Marine, and that's it. Second, Unplug the uh, the bottom part of or the cab part of yellow, and reattach it. There we go. That is over. Next, take uh, those bits and plug them in. For the top part, we will open the top, remove the uh, what will be the robot swords, fold up the sail, we'll start with green, just kind of uh, take the wheels and swing them forward, and they will fall off because the pegs they're on are very, very loose. Fold out the fist, and fold out that shoulder bit, and we will go ahead and attach that. And for the jet, pull off the hat, fold the wings down, pull it apart, and fold the fist around, and plug it in. Attach the hat. The two pegs there will plug into the head. And there we go. Swords can be stored can be held in both hands very easily. As you can see, the swords can be held in the hands very easily. Total assembly time of all the parts took about 20 minutes to a half hour. The stickers took significantly longer, so you're looking at about, for the whole set, maybe an hour's worth of work if you're really trying to be neat and tidy. Posability on this thing is amazing, at least compared to the original Deluxe Gokaio. 
You've got a swivel and movement here in the feet, both feet. You've got a ball joint up here with a, attached to a, sw a swivel joint there, and then the knees, it actually has knees. They do come apart though very easily. There is a little bit of a torso movement, not a whole lot, but just enough, and it can swivel very simply. The head has very limited movement because of the shoulders and the hat. The arms have a lot more movement thanks to the extra joint, uh, the extra elbow joint, and the hands are on ball joints, so you can get a lot of really detailed poses here, which is nice because the original Gokaio, you're not getting any poses. So is this thing worth it? It was about 50 or 60 bucks, and I picked him up from CS Toys a little while ago, and he is totally worth it. Um, I absolutely love these candy toys. Uh, they just, they're fun to build, they're easy, they don't take too long, and the results speak for themselves. And I think these are actually better figures than the deluxe class figures. Like I said, you could pick it up at CS Toys, you could pick it up anywhere on eBay. eBay's got all of, a bunch of them everywhere. Don't hesitate to pick this one up. If you're looking for a super poseable Gokaio figure, I really, really recommend it. He's not that tall. He's a little bit taller than a standard deluxe class Transformer, but he is totally worth the investment. 